Next event on the track is our final event of the day. This is the girls under 12, four by 100 metres. This is time final number five. In lane one, we have Geelong B. In lane two, Carayo. In lane three, Caulfield. In lane four, Berwick. In lead five, Diamond Valley B. In lane six, Essendon. In lane seven, Coburg. And in lane eight, we have Mentone. It does look like lane five is not here. And we'll just say, is it coming to shot to see on it? It does look like we have an athlete. We could just see the edge of a baton in lane one for Geelong. So no Diamond Valley. On your mark. The reigning state champions come from lane three, which is Caulfield. Nice clean start by the athletes in this final race of the day. Great start there by the Caulfield athlete in lane three, but also the athlete out in lane seven from Coburg as well. She's moved up on the shoulder of the athlete in lane eight. This is the vision we've got here for you now. It's going to see how it goes. Coburg change first. Is it a really smooth change there as well in lane six? But as we move back into a vision at the moment, we'll see how the athletes take this next change for the second change. The athletes on the inside are still to come through as well, which includes the athletes from Caulfield. But it is Essendon out there in, at the moment in front, trying to peg back the athlete from Coburg out in lane seven. But as we come around to the bend, we'll see how these athletes fare out. I can see Bra Caulfield coming up into the mix now. It's going to be Caulfield from lane three, also Coburg from lane seven as well. They're going to battle this one out to the end. Essendon finished strong, also finishing strong in lane six. But it is going to be the athlete from Caulfield. She might just hold off here over the Coburg athlete. Great running girls. Essendon, Mentone, Carayo, Geelong, and Berwick. That's the final event of the day.